Yet another tile-based mahjong-y solitaire affair. Well, it's not mahjong at all, except the tiles bear a resemblance in a small way. Here, you have an arrangement of tiles in towers of various shapes, and it's up to you to eliminate tiles one by one, based on the order you're told to, without the tower collapsing. This happens if a block is no longer supported underneath by at least one other. It stands to reason you need to work from the top down as much as possible, only taking tiles from within the structure if there are no free alternatives higher up. It might be possible to pick ones from within a wide structure, Jenga style, as long as you're careful. Taking these that are more surrounded grants you more points, if that's important to you. You click a tile that matches the one at the top, and if removing it would collapse the tower, you'll be alerted. Clicking it again ends the game. You can select different game modes, some are timed, some allow you to choose various board shapes. There's no real progression as such, complete a level and you get a nice picture, but then it's back to the main menu. There's really little else to say about Hong Kong. A passable port of a Famicom game with debatable relevance and zero legacy. It's okay for a passing glance if you really can't find anything else amongst this thousand strong library, but it's certainly not making anyone's top ten lists. What is quite impressive is the three-letter seed that governs the board layout. Theoretically, this would give you 26 to the power 3 different possible layouts per board shape, and there are 10 shapes to choose from. In total, this gives you something like 175,000 different games to play. Whether they're all winnable, well, that's for the mathematicians to determine.